Okay, shooting guy here, and I got shooting kid, and a uh, little different here thing today. Shooting kid's driving. <laughs> so when we get back, we're gonna do a special video on a special knife, so stay tuned. Now that we're back, yeah, you get to wash the truck. All right, so today we've got a real special knife, like I said before. Why don't you show it to him? It's my Christmas knife it by has... Benchmade. We got it for him as a Christmas present. Yep. Yeah. Did you know we got it for free? What? Benchmade did not give us that knife. Uh, we wish they did. We wish they did, yeah. Hey, Benchmade, if you're watching, uh, we'd like to do some sponsored videos for you because we love your knives. Uh, we'll show you how we did that in a little bit. We're going to get to the sharpness test of this knife and what we like about it and what we don't like about it. Uh, but you know what? Let's get to the specs. Overall length open, seven and a half inches. Length when closed, about four and a quarter inches. Blade length, three and a quarter inches. Blade thickness, 0 0.09 inches. Blade material, S30V, with a hardness rating of 58 to 60. The handle thickness is 0 0.42 inch. It uses the axis mechanism. When it's open, it's open. When you want to close it, you pull here, it closes. It weighs in at one and seven eighths ounce. It's a manual opener. It feels like an assisted opener. It comes in this drop point plain blade, but it also has a partially serrated version. It's got a mini deep carry pocket clip. The pocket clip is reversible. It's got this great lanyard hole right here. The handle material is made of grivery. It also has this nice texture. All right, well, there you go. Look we got right. our blue theme going on uh, here. We got my blue monster. I got my blue grunt style shirt. Go check them out. Yeah. And I also got my blue bench made. I know. And check blue. out that cool thumb stud, man. That's pretty cool. That's you want to try uh, a sharpness test? Let's do it. All right, here, I got a, got a piece of paper there. Why don't you, here, here, let me get the monster out of your hand. Monster didn't pay us to do this, by the way. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Pretty good. Uh-oh, we gotta pick it up now. SV30 cuts real good. Try that wood out. Oh yeah, here. <clears throat> Yeah, we'll put that in there. You got a piece of wood here from my Panda Express. <laughs> they didn't pay us to say that either. Yeah, but check that out. Oh, yeah, pretty sharp. That's sharp, man. So you could pay, probably take that and make some good kindling out of that. Oh yeah. I'm gonna grab my griptilian. Oh yeah. Got the griptilian right here, pretty cool. Got its brother. Let's do some comparison. We didn't do that on the tabletop, but uh, it's, uh, I guess it's a little bit smaller. It's quite a bit thinner. I do like that. And I do like the blue thumb stud. Although uh, this has a nice black blade. Yours, uh... I wish I had a black blade. Yeah. That'd be know. pretty dope. Yeah. Benchmade. If you guys make a black one of them, of this one, hit us up and send us one. Yeah. Make it look like this blade here a little bit and put it in that kind of a package. That would be very cool. I bet yeah. you guys are already thinking right. about that, right? Okay, so we were talking earlier about how we got this knife for free. It's real simple. We have a uh, Cabela's credit card. In our case, we use it to purchase our groceries. And because I bet you, you guys use groceries too. So we all do. We all do. So we decided, well, uh, what we'll do is we'll rack up some Cabela's points by using their credit card and then we can cash in the points. And um, we had, I don't know, lots of points since about July or so. And uh, so we were able to buy a few things from Cabela's, including that knife, and it didn't cost us a penny. Well, it kind of did, because we had to buy a whole bunch of stuff on, cre on the credit account, which we pay off as soon as we get the bill, by the way. That's the responsible approach, right? Yeah, don't yep. let the bills rack up, but pay it off right away. And uh, then you got the knife for free. That's how we got that other bench made. I'm gonna put a link down below for that Griptilian. Got the same thing. It was about 40 bucks for that one, because we had some Cabela bucks. But uh, I would recommend that. Now, Cabela's didn't tell us to do that. Um, we're not connected with Cabela's in any way. We're not connected with Benchmade in any way. The reason why we're sharing it with you is because uh, we thought you'd like to know a little tip on how to get some of these things for very low cost or even free. Uh, and if you don't want to use the Cabela's card, that's totally fine. We're going to put a link down below where you can pick yourself up one of those bug outs, pick yourself up a Griptilian, select through, and when you click on those links, you are helping us out because uh, we get a little bit of a commission when you purchase through the links that we provide you down below. 
All right, is that all we got? Well, we can go through what we'd like about it a little bit. So I wanted to tell you guys what I like about this knife and what I don't like about this knife, which that list is very small, by the way. But you know what I love about this knife? Being an outdoorsman and being a very, um, a person that uses a knife a lot, I like a small compact package. And you know what? This bug out is small and compact thin. It weighs one and seven eighths ounces. Um, it is the sharpest knife I have besides that Piranha. And they're a pretty close match. I think this one beats it by a bit. Um, I love this lock on it. The axis lock is what they call it. It's right there. It's not, you don't have to reach under the knife or anything. It's right there in the way and you can get it to it real quickly. Uh, the things I don't like about this is, you know what? The only thing is I just don't like the silver blade, man. I just don't like such a shiny blade. Uh, but you know what? On this knife, it looks pretty darn good, I will admit. Yeah, I do like the shape of the blade. That's very cool with the little false uh, swedge on the top and oh, all yeah. that. But I would agree, a, uh, a matte finish might be nice, and then certainly a black finish would be good. So, Because, I mean, you got this black clip here. Yeah. Um, it's not a magazine, guys, if you're a gun nut. It yeah. is actually a clip. <laughs> um, and But you know what? Benchmade makes such great knives. I'm really happy with this knife. Um, and uh, yeah, it's I recommend you go buy one, go carry this around, and it has a deep pocket clip. So right there, you see a little bit of blue, but you know what? That ain't bad. It hides well. Right? Is that all we got? That's all we got. Tune in next time for another Shooting Guy episode. That's right. We'll see you soon, folks. God bless you. God bless America. And may America bless God. Are you going to say anything about, like, uh, but let's get to the specs? Yeah, oh, yeah. Let's get to the specs. <laughs> Grip tonight. What are you doing? I'm, uh... I forget what this is, but feathering, you know, feathering. There you go. I'm gonna grab my. Uh, ah. Hold this for a minute. Oh, right in the butt.